Hi guys, welcome to Loomis. This video is about changes to market equilibrium. Previously, we learned that the market equilibrium occurs at where supply and demand intersect. Now we're going to take a look at changes in this intersection point if demand or supply or maybe both curves shift. Let's start with something easy. Let's start with one curve moving at a time. So first, let's assume that consumers now have a stronger preference for a good, or maybe that they're just more consumers in this market. Regardless, this means that demand increases and thus it shifts to the right. As demand shifts towards the right, the intersection of demand and supply will move accordingly. So we're going to have a new equilibrium point, and this is going to be at E1 now. At this point, we have a new price, P1, as well as a corresponding quantity, Q1. Both of these are now higher than before. P1 is higher than P0, and Q1 is higher than Q0. Let's take a look at the opposite scenario now, when demand decreases. So maybe there's less consumers in the market, or maybe their preference is now lower. So as demand decreases, it shifts towards the left. And when it shifts towards the left, we now have a new equilibrium point. This is going to be at E2. And we're going to see a corresponding price and quantity, P2 and Q2, which are both lower than the old equilibrium point. Now let's move on to see how the supply curve will change the market equilibrium. So for example, if producers now have better technology or lower input prices, they're going to increase their quantity supplied at any given price. So this means that the supply curve is going to shift towards the right. And as we do so, we're going to see that we have a new equilibrium point. This is going to be at point E1. And the corresponding price, P1, is now lower than before. So we see that price has decreased. On the other hand, Q1 is now higher than Q0. So we see that Q increases. Conversely, if supply decreases instead and shifts towards the left, then we're going to see a new equilibrium point, E2. This has a corresponding price, P2, which is higher than the old one, P0. However, we see that quantity actually falls from Q0 to Q2. So P increases while Q decreases. Now we have seen how shifts in either demand or supply will change the market equilibrium. Let's now move on to some more complicated cases, where we shift both of them at the same time. So first, let's assume that demand and supply are both increasing. Maybe there's now more buyers and sellers in the market at the same time. So supply shifts right to S1 and demand shifts right to D1. What this does is it creates a new equilibrium point here at E1. And we can say that price has increased by a little bit and quantity has increased by a lot. But is this always true? What if our supply curve shifts to the right a little bit more than just now? Now we have a new supply curve here at S1. Look at what happens to price. Price has now gone down by a little bit, while quantity is still much higher than before. So right now you're probably a little bit confused. What exactly is the change to price and quantity if demand and supply are both increasing? Well, let's look at this step by step. We can break down the final effect by looking at one change at a time. So firstly, the increase in demand by itself. What does that do to price and quantity? Well, it increases market price as well as market quantity. And what about supply? Well, that decreases market price, but still increases market quantity. So now let's put these two effects together. And as you can see here, it's not very hard to tell why our change in market price is actually ambiguous, while market quantity will increase for sure. Because Demand increase lets price go up and quantity goes up. But when supply increases, price goes down and quantity still goes up. So regardless, quantity goes up, but price is a little bit ambiguous. It depends which effect is bigger, the demand increase or the supply increase. Let's now try to practice with another example. Assume that consumers now have a weaker preference for the good and demand decreases while the number of producers increase Thus, supply increases. So the demand decrease by itself is going to lead price to be lower and quantity to be lower. However, when supply increases, that forces price down, but quantity up. Now let's put these two changes together. 
Both of these changes result in a lower price, so our equilibrium price definitely will go down. However, quantity is moving in different directions here. Demand decrease makes quantity goes down, while supply increase causes quantity to go up. So we say that the change in Q is ambiguous. We have learned a lot today about how shifts in demand and supply will affect the market equilibrium price and quantity. When there's only either the demand or supply curve changing, then changes in price and quantity can be clearly determined. However, when both of these curves are shifting at the same time, the changes in price or quantity may be ambiguous. Instead of trying to memorize the final effect, learn to break down each of the individual steps and figure out what the final effect will be.